Okay, so let's start off by taking a look at Protopi Studio. When you launch Studio, you're going to be presented with this start window. So let's create a new Py file. Okay, so now we have a brand new untitled file. So in the center, you'll see the artboard where you'll create your prototype. And just above here is the device presets menu. So this is where you can choose the size of your prototype artboard. And there are a number of presets here for iOS, Android, and desktop. And we've also got the ability to create a custom size as well. On the left here is our layers panel. So when we import graphics, from our graphics application, or we create objects natively, they're going to appear here. To the left here, we want two pop out panels. So this first one is the scenes panel. And then just below it, we've got the components panel. Just moving down to the bottom here, we've got the variables panel. So this is where we'll create our variables, which we use for certain logic features within Protopy. And just to the left here, you'll see we've got access to our Protopy account and also some studio application settings. To the right here, we've got our zoom controls, so we can zoom in and out of our artboard. And over to the right here, we've got the ability to toggle our device frame on and off. Now, not all of the presets have frames, but some of the major ones do, such as the iPhone. And we can go there and have a look at, say, the Galaxy S10, which also has a device frame. OK, moving over to the right, we've got our triggers panel. So this is where you're going to create all of your interactions. And next to that, we've got the properties panel. So this panel will be contextual depending on what you've got selected at the time. Currently, we've got the scene selected so we can see the properties for our scene. And just above in the properties panel, we've got a preview, an image preview area. And just above that, these tools should look pretty familiar to you. There's some alignment tools that we've got so we can align objects on the art. Okay, in this corner here, we've got some left and right arrows. So this is a history navigation. So as we move from scenes to scene or inside of objects or components, we can navigate forwards and backwards along the history um, from, from where we've been. So that can be quite useful. Okay, moving up to the top. So we've got a whole bunch of buttons and menus across the top here. So on the left hand side here, we've got Import. So this is where we can import our graphics from Adobe XD, Figma, and Sketch. We've got an image button, which allows us to import images from our file system. We've got a media menu, which allows us to import other media types, such as audio and video. The shape menu here gives us some basic primitive objects that we can draw directly inside our prototype, such as rectangles and circles. And the text menu allows us to also add some native objects. So we've got a text label object, and we've also got an input text field object. Next to that, we've got the container menu. So you can think of containers to be synonymous with groups in your graphics application. So we've got a basic container, but we've also got these specialized other containers. We've got a scroll container, which allows us to do scrollable views. And we've got a paging container, which allows us to do paging views. And finally, here on the right hand side, we've got a component button. So we can click that to create new components. OK, so moving over to the right hand side. So this group of buttons is all to do with viewing and previewing our prototypes. 
So we've got the preview button. So that will just bring our preview window to the front. So the preview window will always be active. It's a separate window, but it's going to be sitting behind our authoring file. So we can just bring that to the front by hitting that button. Next to that, we've got the device menu. So this is where we connect real devices to Studio. So we can send a prototype to an iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet. And to do that, we use the run button. So unlike preview, where the preview will also update as we build our prototype, we need to manually send our prototype to a device with the run button. Finally, in this top right hand corner, we've got cloud. So we can upload our prototypes to the cloud. And cloud has a whole bunch of features, which we'll be going into later. Things like the ability to share our prototype with others, um, we've also got version control inside of cloud and a bunch of other stuff we'll look into later. And to upload your prototype to the cloud, you use the upload button here. Okay, so that completes our quick tour of the Protopi Studio interface. So as you can hopefully see, it looks pretty familiar to other graphics tools that you probably use, certainly tools such as Figma Sketch and Adobe XD. Um, and we're going to be getting a lot more familiar with this as we work through the course. So that's a wrap for the quick tour. See you in the next video.